Dr. Bram Postumus, who's in Bamako. Brian, firstly, Bram, rather, firstly, what can you tell us about this latest attack? Whereabouts in the country was it? Do we have any more details on who might be have been behind it? It's in the same region where the other attacks took place. It's in the Mopti area, the Mopti region, central Mali. The villages are called Ganyavani and Yoro. And this time, the majority Dogon population who was, who was living there have been uh, in the line of fire, if you like. Uh, so uh, this looks very much like the cycle of violence between various communities in that region continuing. Indeed, you know, it's the third such attack, two yesterday and another one earlier on this month, all on Dogen uh, villages. What do you think, uh, you know, the view from Bamako, what might be the cause behind these attacks? Well, I think you need to take the long view to get some perspective on why this is happening. And what you see is that uh, violence has been coming into this region on the back of uh, a spreading jihadist extremist movement, armed groups moving into this region. At the same time, in response, the state withdrawing from that region, leaving a vacuum, and that vacuum has been filled up by people in, in essentially communities organizing their own security. And, has been, and as has been analyzed many, many times, is that once communities start organizing their own security, they tend to do this against uh, other communities. So this might explain the communitarian aspect of this violence. What is not explained by this, and this is what's getting people puzzled here, is the scale of the violence. Indeed, you mentioned there a vacuum, you know, the government security forces, uh, you know, leaving it uh, to other groups to take control. But we're hearing from Bamako that they, you know, uh, will readdress the security situation. But does the state have the means to do so? We've been here many times before that the state issuing strong worded statements saying that we will restore security. On their own, unfortunately, they lack the capacity to do this. Uh, so what, what's needed is uh, a, a, a kind of a collaborative effort with foreign forces, thousands of whom are present in the country. Some of them have a mandate, especially the UN peacekeeping force has an absolute mandate to secure the security of citizens. This is not happening either. Uh, this is partly due to the terrain, this is partly due to for logistical reasons. And what's happening here in Bamako, certainly in response to that, and a logical response, is a huge amount of suspicion against foreign presence, because people are wondering, listen, you are here to, to, to assure our security. If you cannot do this, why are you here? OK, one to keep an eye on for now, though, Abraham, we'll have to leave it at that. But thank you so much for giving us your insight into that. Uh,